Well, good morning. Good morning. So we've got something super exciting planned today. Yeah. Um, we are heading to Liverpool because I am getting a early birthday treat. <laughs> And it turns out we are going to a Paul McCartney gig at the Cavern. Like, for a Paul McCartney and Beatles fan, that does not get any better. <laughs> and the like, thing is, you don't get into small Paul McCartney gigs. No. It's, it's like... like We well, can't get in the big ones. <laughs> that's true. Because we tried very hard to get tickets. I'll put links up top. So, yeah, we've been up super early we're gonna we're setting off pretty soon the gigs this afternoon however we can't take you guys yeah we, um, can't, we can't take this camera no but we can take our phones we think well we can take our phones to liverpool <laughs> yeah the, we're taking the phones to liverpool we're not taking the camera purely because we know they're not allowed at the yeah. gig and it's an expensive camera and we don't want to risk it getting to coffers and then it getting lost so there's just no point in taking it we're going to have us phones so we might film bits in liverpool but i highly doubt there will be anything of the gig in the vlog so we will just have to relay the information to you when we're home later <laughs> who knows we might be able to film something yeah. i don't know but we'll try but it's definitely not going to be on this camera because it's not even going to liverpool with us but yeah let's but let, let's go <laughs> let's cut to liverpool now. now we're in liverpool the cut work amazing Anyway, we now just stood outside the Hard Day's Night Hotel um, and we're waiting to pick up tickets. Hopefully that's soon. Um, they're, de they're definitely there, we're just waiting for the ticket people. Yeah. We're not meant to be able to pick them up till 11. Half 11-ish. It's nearly 11, so we might be able to get them soon. We'll see. So, we got tickets and we got a wristband and, and now we, we just oh yeah we got a teddy too <laughs> that happened and now we're just waiting for the doors to open it turns out that we got fairly close to the stage as in like touching it so i'd say that that's quite a good view yeah it's gonna get loud as well anyway speak after the gig Holy shit. We'll explain when we're home, but that was fucking amazing. Best birthday ever. So, we're finally <laughs> home. Yeah, excuse the um, dishevelled appearance, but the two hour journey took three and a half hours. Yeah, there was, there was a lot of traffic. <laughs> and then there was a rainstorm, and, and it's still just muggy as anything. Anyway. How was today? <gasps> Amazing! So, you will notice that there are a lack of clips from the concert, but as mentioned, um, there was no recording and there were no phones allowed, so um, Paul actually stopped the concert. Yeah, he stopped mid-song to tell some people yeah. off. So, I mean, we didn't even try. Like, we'd, yeah. been, we'd been told no phones, so... We, we respected that rule, so um, yeah, we've got no clips of the concert, so we will just have to do like a little concert report for you. But if I find any photos online and I can use them, I'll, I'll put them in as we're talking. So, first things first, as you saw, we had to go to the Hard Day's Night Hotel to pick up these wristbands these wristbands here and then when we got them wristbands and tickets we had to go down to Matthew Street and and queue <laughs> this is where like I thought it was an absolute shambles so anyone who's been to Liverpool will know that Matthew Street is a massive tourist attraction anyway because that's where the cavern is. Um, so team that with the fact that pretty much everybody knew that Paul McCartney was playing there and it was extremely crowded. So you'd got the people who were just hanging around who didn't have a ticket, yep. they were just hanging around on the off chance of either like glimpsing somebody or hearing the concert. 
Then you had people who were just walking through there anyway, like people that work in the city. Yeah. Or had no interest in what was happening. Then you had um, the ticketed people for like the general admission that had been to the Echo Arena to pick up their wristbands. Then you had our group that had been in Clexton from the Hard Days Night Hotel. So there was a lot of people. We, we were eventually let in after an hour or so of waiting. Yeah. And some from the general admission went in and some uh, of us with the orange wristbands went yeah, in. Yeah, luckily we were in the first wave of orange wristbands that made it in, which helped. So we got in, went down the stairs, and then... <laughs> did a bit more waiting. <laughs> did, did a, not much more waiting. And then we went into the, the main bit of the cavern, where the stage is. And we managed to get really good seats, not seats, really good standing places. Yeah, so we were right in front of the stage. Yeah, we were right in front of the stage, sort of on the on the right hand side, in front yeah. of Brian Ray, the guitarist. Um, so yeah, we reckon there was around 200 people in there. I guess. If that, I, there was maybe less. I can't really see there'd be more than that. Um, but again, anyone who has visited the cavern knows on a normal day, it gets very hot. It's underground, um, for people that don't know. It got so hot oh. and sticky and sweaty. No no word of a lie, like, the moisture was running off the walls and the ceiling. Yeah, it was dripping off of the ceilings <laughs> and off of the walls. It was great. I mean, keep in mind, like, it was one of the hottest days of the year today as well. I so. loved it. It was rock and roll. Very packed in and very hot, but amazing. Like, we had such a good view. We, um, we, we were maybe two metres away from Paul McCartney. Yeah. Um, and it was just great. Yes. It was, uh, so it lasted just over two hours. Um, and there was like a, a big mix of things. So we had um, some Beatles stuff, some Wings stuff. Um, we had quite a lot of songs from his new album. Which um, all sounded really good, actually. Yeah, they did. Like, I was quite excited for the album anyway because he's got two... He released two songs, didn't he? Yeah. From it. One of them I wasn't that keen on, but he didn't play it, did he? No. And then the other one, like, has become one of my favourite songs. Like, it's, it's her summer yeah, jam. it's my summer 2018 jam. <laughs> so, yeah, um, that was the first new song he played. And then all the other ones were really, really good too, so I'm like super pumped for the album coming out now. I really like that For You one. For You. I like for the Confident you. one. Yeah. I thought they were all good. Yeah, they were all pretty good. Um. So yeah, it was about two hours long. Two and a bit hours long. And, and he played In Spite of All the Danger. <laughs> Which... It that... makes her cry when she watches Nowhere Boy. Um, yeah. Did it's a good, it's a good song anyway, and um, yeah, that was sort of the moment where I was like, "Is this real? Am I stood at an intimate gig in the cavern watching Paul McCartney?" Yes, I am. <laughs> um, got to bear. Yeah, did, did we show <laughs> that earlier? Mm, I can't remember. We'll show you again because now we can see him on like the good camera. When we went to get the tickets, there were like tons of hard days night hotel bears, and she was like, "Do you want one?" I was like, mm, "Yes." Yeah. So it's the ten year anniversary of the hard days night hotel. So, so this is this is Paul. <laughs> as well as have as ha yeah. so as well as having souvenir tickets, we've got souvenir tickets and Paul. And Paul the bear. <laughs> so yeah, that happened. But we need to stay in Hard Day's Night Hotel now because it was beautiful. Yeah. I think it. I think it's potentially on my bucket list. If it's not, it's going on there because it was such a beautiful hotel. And a big shout out to the doorman. <laughs> oh yeah, the doorman at the Hard Day's Night Hotel. We, don't, we was didn't look at his. Fantastic. We should have looked at his badge. His name I don't badge. think he had a badge. No, he did. The other one did. Did it? Mm. Whatever. If but... if you're that guy, 
You're awesome. You are fun. Yeah, he was so, so friendly and helpful and like having a bit of banter with us because we had to hang around the hotel for quite a while before we could pick the tickets up. Yeah. But he was just like a really lovely guy. So he made the experience even better because it was a lot of waiting around. So all in all, it was a good day out. Yes. Like, I am totally not bothered that we've not got tickets for the December um, like the stadium shows now because that that we've just been to see was like a once in a lifetime opportunity like there aren't that many people like and since he got big obviously there's still people around that saw him when he was playing at the cavern in the Beatles but now like yeah. that's not an opportunity that arises all that often like i think it was what 15 years ago when he last played the cavern no more 99 than that. so 18. 19 years ago when he last played at the cavern yeah so yeah that's not an opportunity that comes around and let's be fair it's probably not an opportunity that's going to come around again it yes. is an old man <laughs> so yeah, that it really was a once in a lifetime opportunity and the absolute best birthday present ever. So, thank you to all the people that made this possible. Yes. <laughs> you know who you a, are. A big, big thank you. You know who you are. So thank you. I'm covering your face. So thank you. Um, thanks to all the amazing people that we met. Well, just while we were queuing. Uh, yeah, we chatted to a lot of people. We chatted to a lot of friendly people from Germany, Brazil, Liverpool. France, <laughs> Liverpool, all over. There were plenty of people. America. America. So, yeah, it was a good day. Yeah, like, hands down, the best gig ever. And the best Paul McCartney one. I mean, how many Paul McCartney gigs have we done? I've done Glasgow, Birmingham, Liverpool, Liverpool and cavern i've done Five. sheffield sheffield liverpool liverpool glasgow birmingham liverpool liverpool i've done a lot of liverpool yeah, you've done a lot so including the one today i've seen paul mccartney five times and i'm at eight you're at eight like this easily easily the best yeah concert just for how close you were yeah just for how close i was but i'm deaf now yeah, my ears are ringing it's, it's ringing a lot my ears are ringing in a good way and i'm dehydrated <laughs> <laughs> so anyway me and, me and paul are gonna get a drink now so with that being said we're gonna get it gone and we'll see you guys next time <laughs>